Good Friday morning. Many schools are closed or delayed again today because of the icy conditions outside. So check the bottom of your screen for those closures. Good morning. I'm Lynn Bowie, and we have team weather car coverage starting with meteorologist Tim Williams. Tim. Well, good morning, everyone. If you haven't been outside yet or looked outside, you'll likely go out to ice in some form, whether it's on your pavement, your sidewalk, your car, or the roads. We are still looking at an active radar with, with snow to our north and northwest, say from Hagerstown. You can draw that line really from uh, Allentown right back toward Hagerstown and Cumberland. And then there is a bit of a gap here, a dry slot that apparently looks dry, and then a bit of a mix. Really, the 95 corridor and point south. But the problem is that there's a lot of moisture in the air, a lot of mist, a lot of uh, just a residual effect from all of this in the air. And the temperatures, as Marty will talk about, are below freezing. So, whatever that mist is touching is turning to ice. You're going to be dealing with that this morning. So, even though it may not be actively falling from the sky, you're still dealing with some refreezing and some icy conditions overnight. Marty, this is a tricky morning to, to navigate. Oh, to say the least. And uh, you brought up another good point. Uh, during the break, as you're driving, just road spray is freezing on your car. And I'll tell you what else. I, uh, I uh, hit my uh, uh, windshield washer, and I mean, to be quite honest about it, it's colored, they're, they're, it's colored water. I mean, it's not like stuff NASA would use. But anyhow, uh, it froze on the window. So it, it is a really, it, it's just clean enough that you'll be able to get out and just lousy enough that you'll wonder why you did. 30 right now in Baltimore, temperatures going up a little bit, and we're starting to see, Tim and I think we're starting to see a little bit of fog on some of the cameras. Mild air going over this cold ground, which would be ice fog. Not good. 25 is your wind chill. As we move through the day, sun will pop out. Uh, we'll start to uh, unfreeze, if you will. 37 at lunch on its way to Ohio, 38 degrees. Christy, there is no getting around it. Traffic is going to be an issue today. Take it away. Oh, Marty, a major issue. There's going to be a lot of slip and sliding. And, you know, it's very early right now. We already have a ton of accidents out there. Now, take a look at the west side of the Beltway. There's Baltimore National Pike. At least we're doing okay on the west side, but still take it extra slow. Another look at the top side around Cromwell Bridge Road. As you can see, like Tim has said, there is a sheen there, so it's going to be very treacherous conditions. Now, let's get to those accidents that just keep coming in. 50 westbound at Davidsonville Road, 50 eastbound at 450. Then we have a medical emergency. This one at northbound 97 at Benfield Boulevard. And that takes us over to 70 westbound at 29. It's having an impact on traffic in both directions. So it's going to be like a broken record this morning. Leave early, take it slow. Lynn and Tim, back to you. Good advice, Christy, that freezing rain and sleep causing concerns on the roads this morning. Our team coverage continues. Annie Rose Ramos is live in South Baltimore with the storm's impact there. Annie Rose <laughs> looks like the same way it looked yesterday, just a broken record. Hey, Tim, good morning. And that's kind of what we wanted to talk about. We came onto the side street here just off of Key Highway because yesterday we saw this soft slush, something that you could easily get through uh, when you were walking down the street. But Many people are waking up to this in the morning, this morning. This, their cars have this sleet on there. And yesterday, Lynn and Tim, I was able to kind of easily brush it aside. But now this is hard as rock. You cannot brush it aside. You can't just easily take it off. And this is going to be something that, that residents are going to have to kind of contend with this morning. This is the reality after the second day of this storm. Like a good eight or nine inches out here. Thursday's winter weather held a tight grip on Maryland. In Frederick County, roadways turned to ice rinks, and in some spots, skis were better for getting around, as parts of the state were blanketed with a mix of snow and ice. It's snowing and raining at the same time, almost like a hail. Some shovelers in Howard County were quick to get out before it got too heavy. It's definitely a lot of ice, as you can see on my car. It's pretty much everywhere, and it's not been easy to get off. In Anne Arundel County, snow quickly turned to slush. And crews worked overtime salting roadways and clearing what they could. Ice isn't a piece of cake. I don't care if you have four wheel drive, unless you have chains on all four tires. 
you taking the risk. As nightfall came, light rain and sleet continued and temperatures dropped, turning wet spots into ice. In Baltimore City, the Department of Transportation is keeping a close eye on roads. We've been out here and we don't leave until it stops. Right now, we currently have nearly 400 vehicles on the road. Every storm requires a different game plan. The city's DOT spokesperson says a challenge crews are facing is their salt treatment. Melting speeds are becoming a little bit impractical. That just means that it's taking a little bit more for our treatment to, to, to work. Now, Tim, Maryland State Police responded to about 150 accidents yesterday here at the WJZ Mobile Weather Lab, about 29 degrees. And I can tell you, just walking out here, it is slippery, it is slick. The places that I thought were puddles are actually freezed over ice. So, whether you're walking or driving, you want to be careful out there. Reporting live, I'm Amy Rose Ramos for WJZ. Any Rose, thank you. Be safe there. BWI Thurgood Marshall's winter weather team worked through the night. It's treating and clearing the runways there. Travelers with flights today should check in with their airlines to make sure that their flights are updated and the information is correct. Remember, WJZ is your winter weather connection. We have the most experienced weather team in town. You can download our app for updated forecasts and information anytime.